All right, well, it may not look like it, but I am on the Gettysburg battlefield right now. And I realize that it might seem a little strange because there's no open vista, there are no monuments, there are no paths anywhere that I am right now. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, there's nothing but a bunch of like nasty briars and brush and uh, really some of the most geologically weird portions of the battlefield. But I wanted to get off the path, I wanted to get away from the roads because I want to get an idea for myself as to what it was like fighting in the area that has famously become known as Devil's Den. So again, I'm approaching the area that uh, really at the time of the battle uh, is known as Devil's Den. A lot of people think that it became known as Devil's Den uh, after the fighting that took place there, but, but the locals knew it as Devil's Den, uh, I guess just because of the, the weird nature of this place. But uh, as you can see, it's pretty thick down here right now. Now during the time of the battle, it probably wasn't this thick. There would have been a lot of uh, farm animals that, that were roaming around that would have kept all of this brush mowed down. But one thing that was here was all of these giant boulders and geologic formations. All right, I'm gonna make my way up to the, the top of the hill and, and try and get a, a better view of uh, of this area where the Confederates moved through. I've moved to a higher point here where we can see a little better. And from this spot, I'm looking to the south, and uh, there, kind of in the in the wood line, is where General Hood's division under General James Longstreet would have deployed their troops to, uh, and they were at the far right of the Confederate line. And what they were trying to do was move through here and roll up the Union lines right up in here at the southern end of Cemetery Ridge. So what we're looking at there is Little Round Top. Here is Big Round Top. So we know that the geologic formations here at Devil's Den are what make it such a unique place. But, but the question is why does that matter on the battlefield? Well, if you've ever watched movies like Gettysburg or Glory or anything like that, holy cow, just got a thorn right in my knee. Uh, but anyway, if you've ever watched any of those movies, well, you've seen the battle formations of Civil War troops. Okay, so they get in formation, they march forward, everybody shoots at once, you're sending a wall of lead towards the enemy. Well, if you're Hood's men coming up through Devil's Den, try to maintain your formation through this mess right here. So what we see is as the Confederates are moving towards the north and moving uh, towards the, the Union left flank, well, all of these boulders are breaking up their formations and that's going to cause some fierce fighting uh, in the area just to the top of the hill. So I'm gonna go ahead and link back up with Eric and uh, he's gonna give a little bit more context to what's going on here at Devil's Den. Oh, merciful days, the old origin boots are definitely getting some weathering in today uh out their work boots that's what they're for
We are standing on the sinister sounding Devil's Den here at the Gettysburg National Military Park. Devil's Den is this group of rocks around me, one of the more famous places here on the battlefield, which is part of what's called Houck's Ridge. So this is going to be the end of Sickles' line on July 2nd as he moves his third corps forward. So we're standing right now amongst the guns of James Smith's New York battery here, which was roughly the end of Sickles' line. We're going to see some areas that are probably familiar to students of the battle. The area in our front here is what is often referred to as the triangular field. We see the Bushman farm, the slider farm here. We also see behind me, between Devil's Den and Big Round Top, we have the infamously named Slaughter Pen right here, the scene of some very horrific photos taken after the battle. And then we have Big Round Top, the wooded hill here. And then we have the slightly open Little Round Top right here as well. So you can kind of see this area that we know for the battle. On the other side of the trees right here, we have the wheat field. So things are very close. Really, the story of this fight is what we see throughout July 2nd. A stiff Union resistance, eventually overwhelmed by Confederate numbers. In this area, we would have, facing these New York gunners, we would have troops from Alabama troops from Texas and Arkansas. We would have troops from Georgia coming up as well, uh, facing these guns. Eventually the guns are overrun and they're taken back and it's the scene of very chaotic fighting here on Devil's Den. So we think of Gettysburg as one of the most important battles in American history, uh, or at least in the Civil War uh, today, even at the time they, they knew that. So in the days after the battle, there was a photographer by the name of Alexander Gardner that came here, and a lot of the photography that he took was right here in Devil's Den, because there were plenty of bodies to take pictures of. And one of the most famous pictures is right here at this spot. So on July the 5th, just a few days after the battle, Alexander Gardner arrived on the battlefield and started taking pictures and one of his most iconic images that showed just the brutality and the gruesome nature of war in general and this battle in particular was taken right here uh, at, at this wall showed a Confederate sharpshooter at the uh, the base of the wall just in front of us here now the soldier likely died 40 yards behind us and uh, was moved here and had a, had the rifle propped up uh, just next to him, but this is where the uh, photograph was taken. I'm going to take a quick moment to gripe. Uh, I am getting so tired of seeing these dadgum masks lying all over the place. People, Throw away your trash. Kind of walking along through these rocks now, this is where the Union defensive positions would have been. And, man, I'll tell you what, uh, I have to hand it to all of the people on both sides who, who fought in this place. For the Confederates, I, I don't know, I don't know how they took it uh, and how they were successful in securing Devil's Den on July the 2nd because this looks like it would be impossible to take. But they did. And uh, it was at a heavy cost on both sides. Oh my gosh, another dead gum mask. People, <laughs> please stop doing this. All right, so I've moved down into the area of Devil's Den that is probably the most visited. There's a parking lot right here by me and I'm on a, a concrete path, but you can't come to Devil's Den and not go up on the rocks. So uh, I'm gonna go up there and, and get an idea of what the viewpoint was like for the Union troops who fought in this area. All right. Approaching the top of these rocks here, and holy smokes. Look 
at the view from up here. My goodness, that's Plum Run down below us, and I can see why this area was called the Slaughter Pen. Dang. Alright, so that was just a, a little bit of uh, Devil's Den and the Slaughter Pen and the Valley of Death right here at the Gettysburg Battlefield. Again, uh, I'm, I'm only offering just like little snapshots and glimpses of the, the fighting here for uh, a fuller picture and a more complete explanation of what happened here. I uh, definitely recommend going to American Battlefield Trust uh, and if you come to this place definitely get yourself a licensed battlefield guide like Eric. Uh, he also co-hosts a podcast called uh, the Battle of Gettysburg podcast, which is outstanding and uh, has taught me a lot. But uh, anyway, I guess we are going to shuffle on to another part of the battlefield. Ask no breath.